One day, I woke up but didn't want to go to school. Not too long ago, I wasn't feeling well and had to stay home. I was no longer sick, but I pretended to be. Minha avó believed me and she let me skip class. And this was great because I could sleep a bit more and hopefully have a lucid dream. In my dream, I saw a tiny ball of light floating around. It was getting closer and closer until I saw a little person. Is that the fairy? I'm a guardian of nature, human. Like you. I carry the air element, but not anymore because I'm here to take the element away. What? Why? This element is affecting your life too much. You're always distracted and now giving more importance to dreams than to real life to the point of lying just to stay rooted in bed. If your wish is to stay rooted, then so be it. As the air turns when needed, I turn the air that should no longer be seated. I saw a tiny light coming out of me and being taken away. I tried to chase them, but I could no longer fly. What was going on? I woke up and I was feeling very sad, so I started to cry. Minha avó came running to ask what happened. I told her that a fairy had taken something from me and I could no longer fly, but she didn't look too concerned about it. After that day, I was having a lot more trouble to float, as if I had to learn a new way to fly. And this was bad because floating was part of my reality check, which means it was much harder to become lucid in a dream. This was making me sad. I wasn't even in the mood to make jokes anymore. I wanted my freedom back. Days later, I turned 14. Minha avó gave me a birthday cake and asked me to make a wish before blowing the candles. And I wished to recover my floating abilities. That night, I finally had a lucid dream and my garden showed up. Are you here to give me my floating back? I can't help you with that, but I came to give something else back. My book of life. Happy birthday. I wish you peace and light. I was once told by a burning friend that the Book of Life had recordings of the things I did in the past. Maybe I could understand more why I lost my floating abilities, so I decided to read it. There were some pages torn, maybe my garden kept something for himself, but there seemed to be a tale in there that was not my life. Something about some sort of druid that was burned at the stake. So I had to double check this was indeed my Book of Life and not some D&D book. I was pretty sure it was just a fairy tale. And speaking of the devil, it's true, human. You were once burned alive. Why would someone do that? You were turning plants into medicine. They did not agree with your magic. Who? The folks with the distorted cross. We had our own cross, you know. It represented the four elements in harmony. Air, water, earth, and fire. The four gardens of nature. Okay. They persuaded you and many others of a tribe to convert to their magic. And why would I accept that? You were scared. Then they burned you to purify your soul and buried you with their own cross on top, sealing your connection. That ritual prevented us from finding your soul. We could no longer be with you. You here now? You lost your ways. You were reborn among them and lost your native culture. I bet their pages missing from that book of yours. You torn it when you accepted their magic. That was what split you and your other... Jeez, I'm starting to think that the true purpose of alarm clocks is to kill your dreams. I was starting to enjoy that weird fairy tale. When I was going to school, I noticed across the street a dog barking. I knew that dog, I was always afraid of him. But that day, the dog started to attack someone nearby. Before I could think twice, I crossed the street to help him out. I tried using a wooden stick to separate the two. I was feeling as if I had butterflies in my stomach. After some struggle, I I managed to make the dog run away, but my hand was bleeding. I was bitten by a dog in a dream before, but in real life it was a lot more painful. I didn't want to miss school, but the guy said I had to go to the hospital, so I used a public phone to call me avó. She looked concerned, but after some needles and stitches, I was back home. I couldn't go to school that day. At night, I saw the fairy again in my dreams. I was watching you from inside a bird. You should observe the birds more. You turn without question into help someone in need. You found a creative solution to separate the dog and used an interesting magic device to call your grandmother. I even saw you dodging some bites. I missed one. Yes, but you acted like a true guardian of air this morning. So mother asked me to give this back to you. My air element! 
it's not yours. You simply it's guardian. This is like a seed and your body is the earth. Keep it pure. Mother's trusting you with it. Can I talk to mother? She is listening. Will she reply? One day, when two become one. When? When it's time, human. You can bargain with time. Be patient. As with patience, all other virtues will eventually come to you. Your human life is very short. So be present in every second of it. Learn from each mistake. Be the best you can be and all your wishes will come true. I can float again. Thanks, fairy. And thanks, mother. Huh? Mother? Mother f Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I talk about the day I was kissed by a mermaid. Every story of my channel is similar to this one, so make sure you check them out. I usually make videos in my spare time in the weekends. It's a lot of work, so let me know if I should keep making them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!